Ooh. Ugh. Ooh, man. Hello, friends, loved ones, and other creatures of YouTube. My name is Dr. Mitch, also known as Dr. Rice, and a lovely welcome to the channel. Today's video is the first installment of a new series kicking off that I like to be calling Medical Myth or Fact, also known as Moth. Or m moths. M moths. M moths. Yes, moths. Today's a moth video. This is a series I'm really excited about because it takes medically derived colloquial information and basically puts it to the test to see whether it's true or not based on the science that we have today. Basically, it's a medical version of Mythbusters without the production, the crazy experiments, and the epic mustaches. Although I think I can sort of handle that one and grow mine out and maybe look like Jamie. Today's moth will be centered around the idea that repetitive cracking of your knuckles, or any joint for that matter, is actually really bad for you and can lead to arthritis. Is this actually true or is this just a myth we've been believing for many years? Stick around to find out the answer. Today's video will be broken down into a few different parts. First, we'll be talking about what the heck a joint even is. Second, we'll talk about what happens when you crack a joint. And then third, we'll talk about and answer the question, does cracking joints repetitively lead to arthritis and is it bad for you? So what exactly is a joint? And no, I'm not talking about the thing that you smoke. A joint is where two bones meet. Some joints are fixed and some joints are mobile. There are actually three major types of mobile joints the most common being what is known as a synovial joint. A synovial joint is exactly what your knuckles are. A synovial joint is called this because we have something known as synovial fluid within the joint space that prevents two bones from rubbing into each other. The synovial fluid is also present because it makes the joint more flexible as well as making it more mobile. The synovial fluid has a lot of dissolved gases in it, such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, as well as other nutrients in order to keep the joint space healthy. As the synovial fluid moves around and the volume increases, it allows those little bubbles of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide to quickly rise to the surface, clump together, and then eventually pop as more fluid fills the empty spaces. This creates that cracking sound that's oh so famously refreshing. There is in fact a purpose to doing this, which is removal of these bubbles actually creates more space within the joint itself. This is usually why cracking a joint can lead to a transient increase in overall mobility, as well as just feeling so, so good. I think it's important to mention as well that not all cracking of joints is actually this phenomenon occurring. Cracking of your knees and ankles can sometimes be from tendons and ligaments sort of snapping back into place, but don't worry, this is completely normal. Also, after you crack your knuckles, or any joint for that matter, you actually can't re-crack the same joint for about 15 minutes. This is because it takes the joint about that long to get back to its original size, as well as reaccumulate all of those dissolved gases. Don't you dare try to re-crack that same finger you just got done cracking, I know you did it. Mm. So the million dollar question of this video is, does cracking your knuckles actually lead to arthritis? The short answer is no, it does not. So this is actually a medical myth and it's relatively pretty harmless. There's a man named Donald Unger, who's actually a physician and asked this same question. He astutely sought out to answer this question by performing a little scientific experiment on himself. What this man did is that he cracked all of the knuckles on his left hand two times a day for more than 60 years and used his right hand as a control group by not cracking any of those knuckles. And the result after this 60 year experiment is that he did not develop arthritis in either hand. He published this study and actually won a Nobel Prize for it. What a genius. So the overall consensus is this is a medical myth and cracking your knuckles is generally pretty harmless. I do say generally pretty harmless because if cracking a joint leads to increased pain, it's probably bad. Also, if you feel like you need to crack your joints in order to get relief, 
that's probably not good either. As always, if you have any concerns about your joints, please consult your local healthcare provider. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any more topics that you'd like me to cover or things that you've heard from grandparents or friends of friends of friends, that swear by doing this thing is either good for you or doing this is bad for you, leave a comment down below and I would love to do a video about it. Again, thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. Give those knuckles a few cracks today, but not too many. And I will see you all on the next one. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I definitely didn't think I'd be able to crack my knuckle in between that, but hey, there you go. Also allows joints to be more flexible as well as being more no noble <laughs> noble <clears throat> yes noble joints <laughs> oh i hate when i mess up that bad it's so hard okay focus focus back don't turn red in front of the camera focus